Discovering, exposing, getting results. The I-Team. New developments in the months-long I-Team investigation of Beaches Memorial Park and First Coast Funeral Home in Atlantic Beach. This morning, a grieving family reached out to us concerned because they couldn't get in touch with the cemetery staff before the burial of a loved one, which was scheduled for this afternoon. And this family is now having to wait to bury their grandmother on another day. I can't even imagine the things going through your head right now. Devastation. Fury. It's outrageous what you have to go through when you want to just lay your loved ones to rest. State investigators say the issues that are now causing this family added grief are issues they take very seriously. This afternoon, the I-Team asked the state about what they were doing about this latest problem at Beaches Memorial Park. The state said it's told the cemetery to exhaust any and every option to complete its commitment to the customer. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci spoke to the family. The family members are very upset, but they say they are encouraged that the state of Florida is now getting involved in their dispute. They say they want answers and they want them right away. She was a beautiful woman. She loved life. She was a gypsy soul. It was supposed to be a day to celebrate Carol Lloyd's life. She was a wonderful woman, wonderful mother. The 71-year-old passed away last week after a hard-fought battle with cancer. Her funeral was today. Her family planned to lay her to rest here at Beaches Memorial Park. Her burial and plot paid for 10 years ago. But when the casket and hearse got to the cemetery, Is there nobody, here? nobody else was there. The grave for the burial service, nowhere to be found. There's no graves marked. There's nothing done. We have no idea where the plot is. We were there as Lloyd's family waited and waited. So we're waiting a couple more minutes to see if somebody shows up. But no one from the cemetery ever came. This is just beyond words. This is beyond embarrassment. I don't know what to say. It's just so wrong. Police stopped by to document what happened, writing a report for the family stood up on a day when they were supposed to honor their loved one. Nowhere to put her except to take her back in our care. The funeral director, who represents a funeral home unrelated to Beach's memorial, says the cemetery's owners are to blame for this. There's no burial plot for her. She says when she called, Amanda Rayan, one of the owners of Beach's Memorial Park and First Coast Funeral Home, said the burial equipment broke, and then Rayan hung up on her. This has never happened before, and I've been a funeral director for 11 years. Doesn't look like anyone's here. I tried to get their side of the story, but no one answered the door or the phone at the cemetery's office. They need to be held accountable. Lloyd's family left with no choice but to take her body back to the funeral home while they figure out what they'll do next. She, did, she does not deserve it. Nobody deserves this. It hurts so bad to know that she's in the back of that car right now. We can't even put her in the ground. Can't even lay her to rest. This evening, we saw two men driving in through the front gates of the cemetery on a backhoe. They went to the back of the property, possibly to dig up some ground there for Mrs. Lloyd's burial. We're still waiting to hear back from the owners if, in fact, that is the case. In Atlantic Beach, Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.